My favorite, um, I guess, moment in the show is definitely, and it's been my favorite since the beginning, is 16 tons into my babe. I'm not going to try and give too much away, but it is the the only like two songs that are like mashed up in the show. And I find it interesting that that was, you know, a choice made because Carl Perkins and Johnny Cash uh, out of the entire quartet uh, spent most of their life being very, very close to each other. Uh, Johnny got Carl out of a very dark place uh, and Carl and him stayed and played together on the road for decades and decades. That one of my favorite moments actually is kind of stripping it all down um, and doing Peace in the Valley. I think one of the, the few moments in the show that I feel like all of a sudden we all just stop and take a breath is at the end of Peace in the Valley. And it's the most grounding part for me, especially as Elvis, because it is that moment that he goes back to his roots a bit more. You know, you, you kind of strip away that, like, like I was talking about, that joyous, playful, charismatic uh, Elvis, and you go r all the way back to where he, you know, music spawned for him. There will be peace in the valley for me. The inner child in me is, is, <laughs> is tempted to say... I'm sorry, is there another part of you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, there is another part of me. There's a, Diane, there's right. <laughs> the inner child in me would definitely be tempted to say jumping off of a piano oh, right. every night. Right. That's, that's like a dream. A Not to give anything away. True. Um, Man, you... <laughs> I know. Okay, I so a little, a little, the other night, a little background... Know? Because of the way the, the set is, Which we had, you can't we, see we in had to adjust frame, the piano uh, to a certain degree so that when he jumps off, he doesn't hit his head <laughs> on the set. But you, but you touched it the other night? I touched it the other night. Well, see, before I played Diane, I was, I was a shoe-in for the NBA. And I don't know why, I don't know why that didn't develop. Both honestly. shoes in, actually. Yeah, both shoes in. Uh, mostly blue suede, but, you know. <laughs> I actually would start... <laughs> My I favorite hope moment you of the show. edit all of this out. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite moment in the show, hmm, uh, without question. a doubt, is um, Brown Eyed Handsome Man. Chuck Berry's Brown Eyed Handsome Man. Two, one, two, three, four, way back in history for thousand years. In fact, ever since the world began, there have been a whole lot of good women shedding tears over a brown eyed handsome man. The trouble with a brown eyed handsome man. My favorite line in the show, though, is uh, at the end where he says, It ain't no surprise it turned out pretty good for everyone, <laughs> career-wise. <laughs> I just wish every one of them boys had a little more happiness in their lives. And that line gets me every night. That's my favorite line of the show. But Brown-Eyed Handsome Man, it's my favorite moment. Mm. Yeah, man. I, I love the song Long Tall Sally because the energy that, that comes out of it um, uh, is, is really exciting. And... Plus, the guy that plays bass, uh, Zach Lentino, gets to show off his amazing bass skills. 